Hi all, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss some of the important questions from the topic general awareness. Okay, so we, are, we will move on to the questions. Question number one, what is the name of the scheme proposed by the HRD ministry to track the academic performance of the student, school students or school children across the country? Okay, so our options are option A, Shala Asmita, option B, Achievers, option C, Performers, option D, Prashad. Okay, so these are the four options in which our correct answer is Shala Ashmita. Clear? So Shala Ashmita Yojana aimed to track the educational journey of close to 25 crore of school students from class 1 to class 12 across 15 lakh schools in the country. In other words, this online database will carry information about the student attendance and enrollment, midday meal service, learning outcomes and infrastructural facilities among other things on one platform for both private and government schools. Both private and government schools. Clear? So our option is Shala Asmita is the scheme proposed by HRD ministry to track the academic performance of school students in across the country. Clear? So what about Achiever scheme? What is Achiever scheme? It aimed to engage young people to design and implement community based inventions and interactions to prevent or delay the onset of substance misuse. Clear? It is for young people in India and in our country to design and implement community based interventions or initiative okay, to implement the inventions hmm, to delay or prevent the substance misuses. Okay? If there is any substance or any misuse of some, some uh, property that achiever scholarship or achiever scheme is to engage the young people to implement the community based inventions or initiatives. Clear? So what about the performance? Performers? Performer scheme is for athlete. Okay, it is for athletic scheme, right? Prashad. What is Prashad? Prashad scheme is for the development and pro, uh, uh, development and preservations of religious tourism in India. Okay, Prashad is for religious tourism. This is for religious tourism development in our country. Clear? So, performance is for athletes. Okay, athletics scheme. Achievers is for to inventions based on the substance misuses, right? Whereas Shala Asmita is for the academic performance scheme of the school children, right? So we, are, we will move on to the next question, question number two. With which sport was Arthur Pereira associated? We all know that Pereira is mainly, we all know that Pereira is based on the sport football. Right, so Arthur Pereira associated with the sport of football. Pereira was the Indian football player. He was a striker and toured Russia with the Indian side in 1971. He also featured for Maharashtra in the Sandosh Trophy from 1971 to 1976. Right, so we all know that Pereira is associated with football. Clear? So, next question, question number three Which of the following Indian presidents served the longest in the office? We all know that. Rajendra Prasad, our first Indian president, served the longest office, right? So, within 12 years and 107 days, Dr. Rajendra Prasad has had the longest tenure. On the other hand, Dr. Sakir Hussain had the shortest tenure in the Indian history, okay? Sakir Hussain, who served as the third Indian president and was the first Muslim to occupy the chair and had the shortest tenure in the Indian history, right? So, option D is our correct answer. The Indian president, first Indian president, he is the first Indian president also. Okay, so Indian president served the longest in the office is Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Clear? So, question number four. The constitution of India is republic because it is, we all know that the constitution of India is republic because it has no hereditary elements. What is the meaning of that? In a monarchy, the head of the state or usually the king or queen, okay, enjoys a hereditary position. Whereas in our country, we are republic, okay. On the other hand, we have what our head president, okay. Republic in our constitution indicates that the India has an elected head called president, okay. Whereas in monarchy, there will be a king or queen that enjoys hereditary position, right? We have our head president does not enjoy any hereditary elements, okay? So our option D is our correct answer. Other options are contains a bill of right, no. Provides for the elected parliaments, no. Provides for adult franchise, no. 
okay so the constitution of indus republic because it has no hereditary elements clear okay so uh, next question question number 5 which of the following is india's first integrated green field smart city we all know that india's first green integrated green field smart city is atal nagar in chatisgarh okay so atal nagar chatisgarh is india's first integrated green field smart city atal nagar is an impeccable combination of smart infrastructure advanced it solution and smart governance right atal nagar okay is is the combination of smart infrastructure advanced it solution and smart governance okay citizen safety and security is the heart of the entire infrastructure citizen safety and security is the must priority in that atal nagar in chatisgarh right atal nagar is wholly equipped with the integrated command and control center it will be always under observation or always under the integrated command and control center therefore the citizen safety and security will be 100 percentage there will be no flaws in that clear so which of the following following is the india's first integrated green field smart city it is atal nagar in chatisgarh option b clear so next question question number 6 what is the theme of world water day 2019 okay leave on one behind okay leave on one behind so in 2019 theme of world water day is leave no one behind they even will seek to address the water crisis of the reasons why so many people including women children refugees indigenous peoples disabled people and others are been left behind as they try to access and manage the safe water they need okay and the world water day 2019 is on march 22nd clear so world water day is march 22nd and also the theme of the world water day 2019 is leave on one behind clear so option b is our correct answer then we will go to the next question so question number 7 which of the following state associated with the classical dance odisha odissi okay from the name itself we know that odissi is the classical dance of odisha clear so odissi is the classical dance form and it originates from the state of odisha okay it is a sensuous and lyrical dance form it is not from it is form okay it is form consider a dance of love it touches on the human and the divine aspects of life it also touches on the subtleties of life as well as the mundane clear so we have the other options kerala kerala's classical dance is mohiniyattam and kadakali okay there are two classical dances in kerala mohiniyattam and kadakali whereas bihar there is no classical dance only folk dances and also for madhya pradesh there is no classical dances there is only folk dances okay so we have classical dances as for few states only okay for kerala we have mohiniyattam kadakali for b for uh, what kuchipudi we have from andhra pradesh okay then odissi odisha then what uh, satriya from assam manipuri from manipur then what kathak from uttar pradesh so for few states only there are classical dances the rest of the rest of the uh, left of them have their folk dances mainly number of folk dances clear so odissi is a classical dance is from odisha for kerala mohiniyattam and kadagali for bihar and madhya pradesh we have so many folk dances clear so we will move to the next question question number 8 so question number 8 which mughal emperor founded fatehpur sikri as the as his capital city okay it is option c akbar okay the great akbar is the founder of fatehpur sikri as its capital city okay so move on to the explanation approximately 37 km from agra is built a city predominantly in red sandstone sandstone and is called fatehpur sikri this town was built by the mughal emperor akbar he had planned the city as a capital but shortage of water compelled him to abandon the city right so the fatehpur sikri is built by who akbar the great king akbar clear so our next question question number 9 which of the following dams has been built on river krishna okay we all know that river krishna we have the dam nagarjuna sagar okay nagarjuna sagar dam has built on the river krishna nagarjuna sagar project is the largest and highest masonry dam in the world masonry dam in the world it is the build between nalgonda districts of telangana and gundo districts of andhra pradesh clear so the dam that has built on the river krishna is nagarjuna sagar 
clear so we will move on to the options okay other options bakranangal bakranangal is the dam over satluj river okay satluj river in hp himachal pradesh right then narmada sagar is over narmada same name okay narmada river in madhya pradesh clear then hirakudra hirakudda is over mahanadi mahanadi odisha clear okay so our question is river krishna is the dam is a river over what nagarjuna sagar dam clear so bagranangal satluj river narmada sagar narmada river hirakud dam mahanadi from odisha clear so next question quiz number 10 and our last quiz so quiz number 10 which of the following countries in april has sent team of climbers up to mount everest to remeasure its height okay so our answer is option d nepal nepal is the country on april sent some of the team of government climbers climbers up to mount everest to remeasure the height okay so we will move to the explanation nepal is sending a team of government appointed climbers up to mount everest to pre-measure the height its official height is 8848 meters okay first recorded by the indian survey in 1954 but a heated debate erupted in the aftermath of the massive earthquake in nepal 2015 with suggestions the powerful tremor had knocked height of the lofty peak right so there is an earthquake happened in the 2015 so there is a debate happened and they said that there is a chance of having the height lower than the height of 8848 meter that priorly measured in 1954 by indian survey clear so nepal is the country in april has sent a team of climber up to mount everest to measure its height clear so these are the important 10 questions in general awareness okay thank you and have a nice day